Since 2016, I've taught thousands of small business owners how to improve the rankings of their Google business profiles on Google through my YouTube channel and helped hundreds of them through my one-on-one -on -one consultancy services. And you know what I've noticed after all these years? 90% of the business owners I deal with still have no clue how well their Google business profile ranks in search results in their city or how to check. The thing is, if you don't understand how to track your Google business profile visibility, how are you supposed to know what you need to do to improve it. The good news is, it's not rocket science. You can do it in a matter of minutes. And once you're done, you'll have access to some powerful insights you can use to blow up your Google listing. So today I'm going to share with you how I do this for my clients so you can do it yourself without having to pay a pro to do it for you. But do me a favor, don't tell anyone I told you. First, Let's look at the most popular technique the majority of business owners use to check the rankings of their Google business profile. Turn on your computer, open Google Maps, and search for a keyword relevant to your business to see where your listing shows up in the results. If you are currently using this method, here is my advice. Stop right now. This way of checking isn't accurate and doesn't tell you how well your business is ranked. And this is why. Reason number one you're probably checking from your office or home, which is likely to be the same address registered for your Google business profile. As a result, Google sees your business as highly relevant and nearby and shows it higher in the search results than it might actually be. Number two, if you've searched for your business before and clicked on your listing, Google remembers. It thinks you like seeing your business and shows it higher in the results, which doesn't accurately reflect its real rank. Number three, this method only shows search results from your specific location, your home or office, which offers just a sliver of the overall picture. So what are you supposed to do? Well, thankfully, technology has improved a lot over the past few years, and you can now easily check how well your listing ranks across a specific geographical area without the results being skewed by Google. All you need is a grid tracking tool. A what? Okay, okay. A grid tracking tool is a tool that shows a visual map of how your listing is performing from every potential search location within your city or region. It uses colors to show rankings, making it very easy to see where your business is doing well and where it could improve. Beyond just showing rankings, these tools also offer features like competitor analysis, AI-driven tips for boosting visibility quickly, and the ability to track changes in rankings over time. I swear by them. The main challenge is setting up your grid initially, which can be tricky if you've never done this before and are new to local SEO. You'll need to choose which keywords you want to track and the type of grid you want by setting up the right number of grid points, the area you want to cover, and so on. Don't worry if it sounds confusing right now. Just stick with me. I'm going to make it super simple and walk you through the setup process using two tools I use for my clients, Local Falcon and Bright Local, which I believe to be the best on the market. Both offer free trials, so you can do it yourself right after watching this. I've included links to them in the description below. Let's start with what keywords you should be tracking. The best starting point when selecting the keywords you want to track is to use your Google Business Profile categories and combine them with location-specific keywords like the name of your city or something like near me. Let's say you're a dentist located in Clearwater, Florida that also offers services such as dental hygienist. A good selection of keywords would look like this. Dentist, dentist near me, dentist Clearwater, dental hygienist, dental hygienist near me, dental hygienist Clearwater. You get the gist. Tracking this combination of keywords will give you a precise idea of how well your listing ranks on Google Maps for the services that drive maximum impact for your business in your location. But before you complete this task, here's an important tip. If you live in a big city 
or your Google business listing is new, avoid using the city's name alone to see how you rank across the whole city. This is because you'll be up against businesses that have been around longer and are tough to beat at first. Instead, focus on doing well in the area right around your business. For example, if you're a plumber in Tampa and your business is located in West Tampa, start by tracking your ranking specifically for West Tampa. This strategy helps you build a strong local presence before expanding your reach further. Once you've got your list of keywords, it's time to set up your tracking grid. If it's your first time using Local Falcon or Bright Local, you'll need to create an account before doing anything else. The process is very straightforward and unlike many other software, you won't be asked to enter any credit card details. To make things easier, use the Gmail account linked to your Google Business Profile. This should automatically pull in your business details from Google. If it doesn't, you can add them yourself later. To use the grid tracking feature in Local Falcon, just click on Run a Quick Scan from the menu on the left hand side. In Bright Local, go to the Ranking option, select Local Search Grid, and then choose the Monitor Local Search Grid option. You should see a map centered on your business location. You can now start customizing your grid. Start by adding the keywords you want to track. Just use the list you've put together based on the business categories we talked about earlier. Then adjust the grid criteria. Start by selecting your preferred measurement unit. After that, pick the size of the area you want to check the rankings of your Google Business Profile for. The grid size you pick is very important and will depend on your type of business, the city you live in, and how competitive the market is. Let's say you're a plumber who operates in the small city of Davenport, Iowa. You'll probably want to set a grid size that covers a large part of the city because it is within your reach and the competition is fairly low. So choosing a five mile radius, give or take, would be appropriate. But if you're a personal injury lawyer in Manhattan, New York, you'd likely want to choose a grid size that is much smaller because of the intense competition you'll be facing. A grid size that covers only a couple of blocks or up to a mile or less will make more sense. I rarely check rankings beyond a five mile radius as it's usually very difficult for any business to rank further than that with a single Google business profile. Choosing the number of grid points you want to track is next. Each point represents a spot on the map where Google simulates a search to see how your business ranks. More points give you a clearer picture of where your rankings drop off. I usually go for an 11 by 11 grid point setup as it feel it provides enough detailed insight. Setting up your grid in Bright Local is similar, but instead of a radius, you set up your preferred grid point arrangement and the distance between each point. Last but not least, remove any unnecessary grid points like those over water or uninhabited areas to avoid wasting your credits. Now you're set to run your first scan. This usually takes just a few minutes and will show how well your Google Business Profile ranks across the map for your specified keywords. Any green spot indicates that your listing ranks between one and three on Google Maps, which also means it will show up in the Google Map Pack, giving you a lot of exposure. That's why you want your listing to be in the top three results as often as possible. Orange spots show rankings between 4 and 10, which is still decent, but will not be anywhere near as good as being in the top three because your listing won't be included in a map pack. But with just a tiny bit of optimization work, you could significantly improve those positions. Red spots indicate your listing ranks in position 10 and higher, meaning you'll need to work harder to be more visible in those spots. To check rankings for specific keywords in Bright Local, click on the Select Keyword tab. In Local Falcon, choose the Scan Local Reports option and locate the reports for the keyword you're after. Congratulations! If you've made it this far, you're doing better than 90% of small business owners and you're probably realizing that your Google Business Profile is not ranking as well as you would like it to. If you're not happy with your rankings and want to improve them, I suggest you check my workshop right here, which will tell you how you can quickly turn your grid tracking map into a sea of green spot instead of orange and reds.